not expecting to lose my mind at a Wegmans today, but <laughs> here we are. Brandon, I've never actually done grocery shopping at Wegmans before. I've only gone to like the food court area, but all you Wegmans girlies out there who have been telling me that I've been missing out my entire life because I never live near Wegmans, I understand now. I get it. Anyway, what's up you guys? It's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. Oh my goodness, I've had quite a morning. I, as you saw, went to the gym for like really the first time. Back up. There's so much I have to update you on. Let me finish this protein smoothie that I got. Eat my sandwich that I got from Wegmans for lunch because I'm starving. I need to shower because I feel nasty. And I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I got carried away with my cleaning, as you saw. What have I done since we last spoke? I ate, I showered, I washed my hair, I dried my hair, made my bed, as you saw. I just like decided to vacuum after that because I, I like to vacuum. It's satisfying when you hear the everything, you know, being sucked up in the vacuum. I love it. And when my bed is made, I'm like, well, I might as well vacuum because then I feel the made bed is not like putting lipstick on a pig, if that makes sense. Makes sense. And since I have Miss Charlotte back with me, which hopefully she makes an appearance later, she likes to sleep during the day. She's, as they would say, nocturnal. Am I okay right now? You know what? No, I'm not. And it's because I also went ahead and made a coffee and I already had a Celsius today. Okay, that's what we've done since we spoke. Now, to recap this morning. I went to the gym and that is important because one of my New Year's 2024 goals, which I talked about in my New Year's planning video, was to find an exercise routine that I actually enjoy. I'm gonna tour a gym when I get back and see if I would like to join. They have classes and stuff. They've got like, you know, the typical gym stuff. I want to just try out some different workout classes, see what I enjoy, see what types of exercise I enjoy. So in an effort to work towards that goal, I signed up for a new gym. This gym has workout classes offered included as well which i feel like i want to do a combination of weight training cardio like running i started my running journey if you could even say that i started running again in november december so that and then also like pilates bar i don't know just want to try some different workout classes and this gym that i signed up for offers all of those things so i am just hopeful i don't know i've tried so many gyms at this point I've tried so many workout class studios at this point. I've talked about this in other videos, but I feel like I need variety. I need to switch it up in my routine and have different things that I'm doing because if I don't, I will get bored. So this morning I did some like lower body weight training exercises. I actually really enjoy weight training. I used to go to the gym before I moved to New York. I went to like Planet Fitness in my hometown and I really, really enjoyed going there and bringing my little energy drink and putting on a podcast and doing my weight training exercises. And then when I went to solid core last year, I learned that I really enjoy doing weight training slowly. That's the whole point of solid core. Like you're supposed to do everything really slowly. You're not supposed to rush any reps or whatever. So I've been implementing that into the stuff that I'm doing now. I feel like it just amplifies it for me. So I really enjoy doing that. I also ran a little bit. I'm so out of the running groove. I haven't ran in a while since I was in Thailand and traveling and stuff. So I'm a little bit out of that. Not that I was ever really in running shape because I only started running like in December. <laughs> so whatever, I just want to build up my endurance and all of that. And I've found that running with a running playlist that I can like step to the beat makes it a lot more fun. So now I'm like, I understand how people, okay. So I did that and I feel really good about that. And then I accidentally did like a whole second workout after that because I decided to walk to the grocery store, which I wasn't even planning on going to the grocery store, but I was like, well, I'm passing the grocery store right now. So I might as well just like go in because I've it's Wegmans and I've never been to Wegmans to purchase groceries. I've only ever gone, I said this, I think, to the food court. This was my first experience buying groceries at Wegmans and oh my God, I was so overwhelmed, but in like a good way, it was beautiful. I loved it. And while I was there, I decided I wanted to make like an Italian style salad for dinner with some chicken, but kind of also mixed with the idea of the kava greens and grains bowl. So I'm gonna do 
the salad but I'm gonna add quinoa and I'm just hoping that it's good I don't know I bought a bunch of ingredients at the store I just came up with this on the spot and I was like what do I think would be good in this I got some dressing so I'm hoping it's good I don't know I'm gonna make that later so stay tuned for home cooking with Hannah I love home cooking with Hannah she's back my favorite things to make for dinners are bowls basically just preparing all the ingredients storing them all separately in their own little containers and then every night I can it's like meal prepping every night I can just combine them again, reheat, and it's so easy. I, that's my favorite thing to make, I've realized. And then I stopped at the post office because I needed to pick up some packages, and I wanna show you my packages and do a little haul. Then I was carrying my gym bag, my grocery bags, and this bag with boxes in it from the post office. <laughs> so by the time I got home after that, I was like winded once again, as you saw. Oh God, I love having an espresso machine. All right. Packages. Here we are. I've gathered you all here once again today to tell you that this video is kindly sponsored by ThreadUp, my faves, my loves. I've been working with ThreadUp for years. If you are a frequent viewer of my vlogs, you probably have heard of ThreadUp, but if you have not, they're an online thrift store and they have over 30,000 of your favorite brands at up to 90% off estimated retail prices. Half my closet, it feels like at this point, is from ThreadUp. I love being able to explore my personal style, evolve my style using ThreadUp because I'm shopping secondhand. I'm giving new life to pre-owned, pre-loved clothes. I feel like I'm reducing my fashion footprint by using thread up and it makes me feel good i got a few little things for the winter i want to show you obviously okay this first thing i could not be more excited about i have been looking everywhere for a navy blue purse like shoulder bag i love navy blue i have like jackets that are navy blue i have shoes with navy blue and i've never owned a navy blue purse i always just wear my white purses with them but I found this stunning, beautiful, amazing, perfect navy blue shoulder bag. This is exactly what I was looking for. The estimated retail on this was $229 and I got it on ThreadUp for $55.99. Next, this might surprise you guys because I am notorious for not being somebody who wears color, but I decided I wanted this. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is everything to me. It is a little pink, the cutest, color pink by the way pink cardigan from j crew when i saw this i was like yeah i'm obsessed i submitted to retail 110 dollars and i got it from thread up for 35.99 i love j crew i love j crew sweaters this is gonna be so perfect for valentine's day not that i have a valentine or any plans but for a valentine's day dedicated to me and spent with myself this is gonna be great. <laughs> all right, this, the time has finally come for me to own one of these. I decided to get this because first of all, I saw it and it's my size. Second of all, uh, as I said, I started my running journey. So I got what I believe to be the Lululemon jacket. <laughs> I thought that for running outside, I could wear this. I need to get like a little white vest or something to go over it to wear on outdoor runs when it's cold or to the gym or whatever. I feel like an extreme fitness girly with this. I am so stoked and then finally i got a pair of sunglasses and these are kind of like the mini sun not mini but the small sunglasses that like hot girls wear <sighs> and i'm like okay can i pull these off obviously this doesn't really make sense with the outfit i'm wearing as we speak with like hair styled i hope that i can pull these off with a good outfit and I just thought they were cool and I wanted to try them. So as I've said a million times, I highly recommend that you check out ThreadUp. There is so much to find on ThreadUp. You can find some seriously amazing gems. I have found amazing gems on there. And to get you started with that, with your search, I actually have my favorites page on ThreadUp set to public. So I'm gonna put that link down in the description. I have probably over like 50 items favorited that you can shop directly from my favorites, get inspiration from things I've already gone and found for you, things that I like and would get, but I'm doing this for you guys to help you in your search. And if you are new to ThreadUp, you can use my code Hannah Elise for an extra 35% off of your first order. They have so many sales that they run anyway, so my code, Hannah Elise, is 35% off additionally on top of anything that they are running on top of the already reduced price from estimated retail. Need I say more? My favorites page will be linked below. Use my code and I love ThreadUp. <laughs> Thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I randomly just put on like a little bit of makeup. I don't know why I did that because I have nowhere to be. But I'm gonna spend the next little bit, I have some things I need to finish up filming. I have some things I need to edit and send. I'm gonna get that done. And then after that, 
I need to clean my apartment. I haven't actually had a chance to reset my apartment for even just the new year because as soon as I got back, I had like three days, I packed and I went to Thailand. And then I got back from Thailand, spent the entire week editing my Thailand vlog. So everything just feels like it's in disarray. It's really not even like the worst it's ever been. It's been, wor it's been worse for sure, but it's still not great. And I need my space to be organized. I just need, I need that for my mental health. Cluttered space is a cluttered mind. You guys know I always say that. And then after that, I wanna make my dinner that I got my ingredients for. So I'm assuming that'll take us into the evening. We'll see where we're at after that. But that is the tentative plan right now. I just want to get stuff done today. I've already had, honestly, a productive morning, early afternoon, and I wanna keep those good vibes going. Going to shoot this content I need to shoot, edit some things, probably take me, I don't even know how long, an hour or two maybe. This was, in fact, a gross underestimate. All right, let's get. Hello everyone. Well, remember when I said that filming, editing, and sending would take an hour? That was the biggest lie I've ever told, I think. It's been like four, five hours since I said that. Granted, I did get sidetracked and I did go down a rabbit hole of looking at stuff that I knew would hurt my feelings and then I got my feelings hurt. Completely unrelated to the things that I was filming, editing, and submitting. <laughs> but now we're here. It's 8.39 p.m. Have not made dinner yet. I need to make dinner because I need to eat something. So I decided that I'm just still gonna go with what I was planning on making, which is my little salad, greens and grains bowl concoction that I was talking about earlier. And we're gonna do home cooking with Hannah at, I usually eat dinner at like five, 6 p.m. So this is late for me. So this is late night home cooking with Hannah, but not even like late, late night, just late night. The only things I really need to prepare, I need to cook quinoa and cooked chicken on the stove and then I just have to chop up an onion that I got and then it's just a matter of combining everything which is why I love making bowls. I have some stuff in the sink that I need to wash. I also need to turn my dishwasher on but I'm thinking I can multitask the cooking on the stove with the washing the sink since they are literally four inches from each other. Do I need more bowls? Fuck yes. I have one more salad slash pasta bowl that I can use today. These are from Anthropology, by the way, and I'm obsessed with them. And I got them kind of specifically for things like this, for bowls like this, because they make them so much easier to eat from. Oh, of course my battery's dying. I just got here. Judging by what time it is right now, the full cleaning of my apartment is going to have to wait another day. And this is how I keep not doing it because I plan to do it. And then everything takes me so much longer than I anticipate that it's gonna take every single thing that I ever do. So hopefully I can clean some things up tomorrow. I did break down some box sides sitting in my living room, which did really help, but I kind of just 
took what was in the boxes and put them in another place, didn't actually put them away. So I'd call that a half effort, I don't even know. But I'm going to, as I always do with Home Cooking with Hannah, turn on a podcast to listen to while I do this or watch a YouTube video or something. It makes this so much more enjoyable for me. Around this time of night, I'm like, do I really feel like doing this? And then I'm like, I want to do it because I know that I'm gonna make something that's good for me and I'm gonna feel accomplished, but I have to do something to motivate myself to actually want to do all this right now. And usually that thing is knowing that I'm gonna have a podcast to listen to or video to watch while I quote unquote work. Oh, this is dangerous. As you have noticed by now, my kitchen is so small. <laughs> like it's literally just this, you're seeing the entire thing. I have to move everything that's on my stove because I have a stove cover for when I'm not cooking so that I have some extra space for what? Not really sure. I have to move that to the living room because there's nowhere here to put it. I don't have a single block of counter space, but we make do. Let's prepare. It should be pretty straightforward, I really hope. <laughs> So let's keep these good vibes going. Welcome back to another installment of Home Cooking with Hannah. Today's recipe is gonna be quite quick. These are the ingredients we're gonna need. Screenshot if you'd like, and let's get started. I'm of course starting by cooking the only two things in this that need to be cooked, which are the quinoa and the chicken. I'm adding two cups of water to my saucepan, and then I'm gonna add one cup of quinoa. I never remember to wash this before I put it in the pan, so please don't come for me. I know I'm supposed to, I'm sorry. I'm putting that on high, letting it boil, and then once it's boiling, I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer, cover it with the lid, and let it cook for 50 15 minutes. Simultaneously, Gordon Ramsay, watch out. I am preparing the chicken. I hate cooking raw chicken. I'm sorry if you also do, like this is just part of the process. I put some olive oil in my pan, put the chicken in, and then I'm seasoning both sides with salt, pepper, basil, and oregano. Doing it on one side, flipping it over, doing those same four on the other side to make sure they're evenly coated. I also cut little slits into the chicken breast so that hopefully they could cook faster and more evenly. I don't know, cooking raw chicken scares me. We've already been over this. Now I'm just letting those two things sit and cook on the stove and I'm gonna start prepping the veggies. Starting off with the red onion, I'm going to chop this up. Interestingly, this is my favorite vegetable to cut. I know everyone hates cutting onions. Do cry, but I don't know. I find it satisfying cutting them because I learned a trick on how to do it on YouTube and it's just made it so much easier and it's kind of satisfying. This is where things start to move really fast. Here's my onion all chopped up. The chicken is still cooking, almost done. The quinoa is also almost done. And I am feeling very accomplished, even though I- You know what? I was gonna say I haven't really done anything, but I'm gonna let myself have it. After the chicken is done cooking, I just cut it up into some smaller pieces. I prepped the rest of the veggies off camera, washed them, sliced the cucumbers. And now it is time to put everything together. One thing about me is I absolutely hate, despise, loathe entirely cleaning the kitchen. Truly, it's an irrational hatred because it's not that serious, it's not that deep, but something about it, it's my least favorite area to clean. The thing that makes that tough is that I have to do it anyway. It's 10.30, I wanna go to bed, but my kitchen is a disaster. I've already put away my dinner, so that's good, that's step one. I have a pile of dishes over here that I'm putting in the dishwasher in 41 minutes when this one is done, because I don't feel like washing them. But everything else, my pots and pans and shit and knives and all that, I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna do that now. This is called being an adult. <laughs> Ew, that's so foul. Significantly better. Oh. <laughs> 
better right now than it was. Hope you all enjoyed watching my little reset day vlog i honestly wanted to do more in this vlog than i got done but i'm not a robot it's okay i still feel so much better now than i did when i started and that's what matters also a reminder to check out the sponsor of today's video thread up click the link in the description and use my code hannah elise for an extra 35 percent off of your first order i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video